Hey guys, Mr. Popsit here, Greg Lynch Derm PA. It's 2025, MPZ Dermatology is in full effect in Corona, California. Give us a call, 951-270-4494. We're accepting most insurances now. Give us a call and we'll tell you if we accept it and we'll get you seen. Come and see us. Thanks for popping by. All right guys, Mr. Popsit here. We see here this induration and kind of erythema, which is a redness around. If you look real close, there's a little blackhead there. That little blackhead was the open pore to a small follicular cyst. That cyst, you know, it's on the neck. We're turning. Sometimes if you squeeze or even just rubbing on it, it can kind of swell, keep growing, and then pop. Inside, that sac can start to break down or thin out, and it looks like it blew out this way. So now it's very firm. It's causing him pain in his neck, and it's time to go. What we're going to do is numb and just make a little cut from the blackhead out this way, about a centimeter, and then we'll be able to squeeze most of the contents out giving him instant relief within 24 hours and then a little injection and antibiotic just to be safe. So we'll get him prepped and ready and be right back. Okay, we have him nice and anesthetized. You can see the white all the way out to here and the redness is muted, although he's still a little bit red. That blackhead was right here. So we're just gonna come across. He may feel a little bit. Let me know if you have a lot of sting, okay? Or any sting, you okay? Don't even feel it. Good. I can already see cyst wall there. And I can feel a pocket that we just broke through. <laughs> and there we go. A little bit of fluid, cyst contents. I don't think it's a real big cyst, but there we go. Producing. <laughs> There's definitely stuff coming out. That's cyst wall right there. And this is pretty obliterated. It's been like this for a while, he said. So you can see all these little particles. You can see that little sack right there too. So let's use blunt just to swirl that a little bit. Now, towards the bottom, I'm gonna go real slow here, okay? If you have any sting or pinch, I'll be the first to know, I'm sure. You okay? Mm -hmm. Every time I've done the procedure, this like week, I always get a call. It's because of spam. Mm -hmm. That was a loculation there, it goes deeper. Getting some contents there. Assist wall. Any sting or discomfort there? Mm -mm. Man, he's doing great. We got him nice and numb. Don't want to talk too soon though. <laughs> it reminds me of that movie with Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> listening to this music and doing surgery on the guy's head. Do you remember that? Maybe we shouldn't play more oh, Mozart. <laughs> yes. Open, yes. That's what it just reminded me of. Maybe we shouldn't play <laughs> Mozart on these. <laughs> that was a really creepy scene in that movie for sure. There we go. There's a little bit more cyst wall right there. I'm looking for the blackhead. <laughs> That's actually a little bit of lining there. Not too bad. Getting quite a bit, so it was, you know, I would say probably 1.5 centimeter cyst. Towards the bottom, if you're feeling anything there, just let me know. Yeah, I can see this lining there. Looks like a mini cyst, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. It's just, it's a pretty.
pretty hard too. That was just a little balled up area of the cyst. Now we're breaking through little pockets. Kind of hear the clicking, it goes all the way over there. Kind of, that's a loculation there. You okay there? Mm -hmm. Good. Somebody was asking the other day, what are loculations? In the comment section. And it's kind of like, you think about, you had a nice little marble in there and then it kind of burst and there's like spider webs all around it. Like little fibrous attachments to little pockets. And we go in and break some of those up and then the pieces come out with that. Getting towards the bottom here, if you're okay. Mm -hmm. He's tough, man. he's handling it. These are little attachments at the bottom of the cyst. A little scar tissue in there too. You can hear that, it's kind of like rough sounding. Do one flush here. Same flush. Nice, A little bit there. We cover those now because the saline flush is squirt out. <laughs> That's attached right there. One last swirl. It's actually looking pretty good as far as looking in there. You can kind of see right down in there. There's a little bit right there. But as far as kind of white pieces of wall or anything like that, not seeing a ton. If you feel lightheaded or anything, are you good? Yeah. You're okay? Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Just making sure. Let's get here. Sorry if you're hearing some of that. I know that gives people kind of anxiety sometimes. But I can lay you down too if you feel lightheaded at all. I'm fine. Thank you. Yeah. There we go. That's good. So that's just a little connective tissue there. And that pocket looks pretty empty for him. So we'll do a little injection over here. Doesn't go that far off to the side. Just a little connective tissue at the bottom. So one more little drying in there. It's a connected tissue right here. It's rough. Interesting, right here is right where that pore was. That's the open pore right at the surface where the blackhead was. I'm gonna take that out. These are usually really attached, so I take the 11 blade. See that tiny bit right here. It's kind of the little like tunnel or tube that goes down to the, the cyst. And I kept seeing that and it looked like a piece of cyst that was just sitting there. Now, people that watch regularly will know why I don't put a stitch in there because it'll just fill up with fluid. He'll get a little hematoma. We do want some draining there. We want this to drain, we just cover it and then that's gonna seal up nice. I'm gonna give him a little injection, anti-inflammatory into the firm tissue around it, which is already starting to soften. And then we usually do a relatively quick follow-up just to make sure this is going down and he's feeling better. That's the tunnel right there. You can kind of see that right through. Get that for him too. <clears throat> Very good. Make 
try to get everything out that looks like remnants of a cyst lining or wall because that's where they can reform. So that looks great. There's a little hair there too. Looks like that was the pore. That's where it all started. Hmm. One more flush here. <clears throat> Clear. Looks good. And his wife is a fan. So cool. Super fan. <laughs> That's all super fan. I love it. <laughs> That's awesome. Good. So we. That's why I do that flush to see if we get any other little remnants like that. Tiny little bits right at the bottom that come loose with the flush. One more gauze. I think the average clinician would have already given up, but no, not mm. me. <laughs> There's a tiny bit of lining right around the corner there. If I can see it, I go for it. Huh? <laughs> I wouldn't call it that. <laughs> not quite, huh? Not quite. Good. I keep seeing, you see that right there? Mm -hmm. I want to get that. It's not a ton. It's just a little bit of the lining right there. And I'm going to leave that in there. And it was down and right around the corner there. Yeah. It's just hiding from me. I think it flushed a little bit. Good. I always tell people at the very bottom, that's the mushy part where it starts to to kind of liquefy. And uh, you could spend all day just taking little tiny bits and you're never going to get it all. I think you got enough. Yeah, I think so too. I do. Oh, we really sure. we have turned the corner on this thing. <laughs> you can probably hear it, huh? Are you feeling it or no? You're not I'm, feeling it. Oh, I'm feeling it. Yeah, I'm okay. You're, oh, you're feeling these? I can feel you digging there. Okay, yeah. yeah. You just got to tell me. I'll put in no, deeper no. in there. But we pretty much, that's the last thing I was going for right here. No, I, I, I just recently. just Oh, the just the last. Moments, okay. Yeah, I, I could start to feel. Gotcha. Yeah, I was turning the corner there. So that's, I was just trying to get that last little bit. But I got it. Everything that I could see there. Good. So what we'll do is give him a little shot there. And it's right here. A little bit of Kenalog, which is just an anti-inflammatory, small amount, not a ton needed. Just dries up that pocket for him. <coughs> a little bit here. Tiny bit there. And I will do a little bit at the bottom. All right, he did great. I want to thank him for sharing. We just put on a little pressure bandage. Just going to kind of push down on that pocket there. He's really kind of stopped bleeding. Not bad at all. And this is just going to heal in on its own over the next week or so. We will do usually a kind of a quick follow-up just one time to make sure it closed up nice for him. And we'll go from there. Thanks for popping by.
All right, guys, Mr. Pops it here. This was our abscess that we drained. You can see all the induration is gone. The pigment is starting to go down. A little bit of bruising is almost out of the way, seven days out. Where we cut them, it's closed up completely. No fluid pocket or anything in there. That scab will fall off in the next seven to 10 days. And this shouldn't come back. We got quite a bit out. We always watch him if he starts to get a bump there and we can feel a marble, like a cyst-like regrowth in there, we'll do an excision for him. But today's looking exactly where it should be. He's uh, he's ready to go, looking all brand new. <laughs> Thanks to him for sharing. Thanks for popping by.